Yo, what is up, guys? It is Jacob Snake up here, and I'm bringing you guys a new series. I'm gonna name this series something like Off Meta Picks because I want. I'm sort of tired of just doing the normal like Vi jungle. Like I'm, t I'm, no I'm tired of doing Meta Picks. I want to switch it up a little bit. Uh, I don't want to get like too trolly with the picks or anything because um, then you know it's just it's just trolling you. I'm. If I do that, I'm not looking to win. But I'm going to be doing a new champ, like off meta champions, is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to be playing off meta champions in the jungle. But in my opinion, these off meta champions that I do showcase to you guys, they are like legit picks. They're good. They can actually do shit in the game. It's not going to be like uh, Yorick Jungle where you just throw ghosts all over the place or anything. With Lulu Jungle, you have shields, you have polymorph, you have your ulti. Lulu's kit is amazing i mean it's amazing for the uh lanes as well but i mean this is just off meta uh jungle picks so with that being said guys welcome to a new league of legends series i have for you guys called off meta jungle picks i guess we'll call it and i hope you guys enjoy it so with that being said guys obviously lulu in the jungle it is legit like i just said her kit is really good in my opinion like i said you have polymorph you have the ulti you have the shield but before we get into, um, you know, before we just start going on a, a rambling rampage, let's just take it slow. I want to talk about her clear speeds in the jungle, and I want to let you know why I think she's uh, a good jungler in terms of um, farming uh, in the jungle, like her clear speed, jungle pathing, um, and all that stuff. So, with Lulu's clear speed, if you don't have attack, attack speed marks, it's going to be sort of hard to farm early in the jungle, so in my opinion, you should look to take nine, um, 9 attack speed marks in your rune page, and then you're going to take some scaling health for the rune, for your seals, scaling CDR for that 10%, and then uh, the extra 3 that you have in your glyphs, you could take like a scaling magic resist or anything like that, and then of course, AP quintessences. Um, Lulu jungle jungle pathing it's so good like you can clear jungles super duper fast and early on in the game you could use your shield on yourself to you know to conserve a little more life so you can stay out on the field a little bit longer and also your w i know everyone knows Ludus w polymorphs or if you use it on yourself you get uh movement speed so like i said her jungle pathing like you can get through the jungles real fast your ganking potential is really fast and um, I, I that's what I want to say makes her a really good jungler she can travel really fast with that W she's sort of like Udyr in my opinion um, no stun but you know you have your speed up you have your shield you have your ulti for extra health the polymorph is amazing against like enemy junglers like uh, Rek'Sai if Rek'Sai decides to burrow into one of your teammates you just polymorph him and he's used this for like a second or two so that's pretty much it with Lulu's jungle clearing slash jungle pathing, I guess you could say. Um, a little bit about her build. I What I like to do on Lulu jungle is I just like to build, you know, the runic echoes, tanky AP, which is rod of ages. You could get um, haunting guys or Leandri's torment rather for the magic pen. Um, in my opinion, getting that early, early 40% CDR is crucial just so that you can spam shields on yourself or on enemies. Same, same thing with Polymorph and your ulti, you want to get that low cooldown 40% uh, on your abilities so that you know you have your abilities always up. That's that's really crucial with Lulu Jungle. So if you take 10% in your runes, 10% uh, CDR in your runes, that's good. Then you get another 10% from your boots. Then you can get another 10% from, a, from Abyssal. And I really suggest getting Abyssal on Lulu or at least getting the Codex for the 10% CDR. Nowadays, you're seeing a lot of tanks in League of Legends, and having the aura from Abyssal is just way too good to pass up, especially if you have more AP uh, champions on your team. Abyssal works really, really, really well. It's really well coordinated with your team, so you can just communicate that with your team. You can be like, hey, I'm getting Abyssal. Don't worry about getting Abyssal. I'll have that uh, MR reduction on me. You go ahead and get Void Staff or something like that. Because with Lulu Jungle, you just you could be doing damage, but it, everyone has their different playstyles. I like to stay in the back and shield, and that brings me to my next point. 
Um, Lulu, like like I said earlier, she has different types of play styles. You play like how I play her. I sit in the back. I like to shield teammates. If someone comes up to me, obviously I'm going to put damage on them. Um, but <clears throat> there's a few different ways you can play her. If you play her the way I do, which is sitting back and shielding teammates, and you want to go a little bit of tanky, a little bit of damage uh, with your Lulu jungle build. But if you're going to look to be in the front line, um, or if you're just going to be looking to do insane damage, I've seen some crazy Lulu builds out there, like on hit Lulu with, uh, what is that item? Rage Blade, I believe? So you build Rage Blade. You can still build Runic Echoes, but I'm pretty sure people go Blood Razor with her. So your autos are just insanely fast. And like the damage over time that you get with Rage Blade and Blood Razor is just insane. I've seen that before. I'll be putting pictures up right now of different builds that you can go with Lulu. And I'll give them names for each one. I haven't tested all of them. Uh, I do want to test out Blood Razor Lulu with Rage Blade and just like full attack speed Lulu pretty much. Because you can end up shielding yourself, you can get to the front line, shield, ulti yourself, polymorph whoever's in front of you, and then just auto them to death pretty much. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be putting pictures up of like, there's like three ways you can play her. Tanky AP, um, Blood Razor, just full attack speed on hit Lulu, and then um, what's the other way you can play her? Probably like AD Lulu. You can get like rapid fire cannon on her and get that long distance auto off. The other way you could also play Lulu is with uh, just straight tankiness with um, your 40% CDR. It's pretty much the same way with tanky AP, but you're not gonna be you're not gonna be doing uh, as much damage. But this is another fun way to play Lulu. As you can see here, you have your Iceborne Gauntlet. Then you can look to build uh, like ZZ Rot if you're looking to hold the gates. Um, and then you have your Dark Seal for that extra that extra AP buildup. It's a really fun way to play Lulu because you're just always fast in lane if you end up building ZZ Rot because of the Raptor Cloak. That gives you such a nice passive of, you know, just a burst of movement speed. And this gameplay right here is all from one game. This is why Lulu is so good because you can just make so many plays. There's so many good, interesting uh, team fights in this, in this video, guys. So I didn't cover uh, like Lulu's ganking potential. I only said that she has really good gank potential, but I didn't cover why I think her gank potential is great. And why I think it's great is because if you if you end up getting like if you say you gank mid and the enemy jungler is there, your polymorph is so crucial. Never if you're if you know that the enemy jungler is coming to counter gank you, you use that W polymorph either on the enemy or you or I mean you use your polymorph on the mid laner or the jungler and that takes them out of the fight for two minutes so you're with your uh, ally mid laner against the enemy jungler or the enemy mid laner while the other one is polymorph and they're out of the fight for like freaking two seconds and that's insane that's that's huge you will always win counter ganks with Lulu in my opinion if you just play it right especially if you're level six there's no way that you can lose uh, counter gank with Lulu also ganking with Lulu it's easy because if the wave is behind the enemy um, you simply E the wave and then you can slow them down with your Q so it, you have a really nice kit with Lulu ganking wise so let's just go over what we've covered in this video so far Lulu's ganking potential is amazing her jungle clearing slash jungle pathing is really great you can get to places really fast with her W uh, her kit is amazing all you gotta do is just shield yourself when you're taking damage uh, or shield your ally ulti your ally you gotta make sure you get those ultis off uh, another thing that's that we talked about is um, her ganking potential you can simply E one of the minions that's behind the enemy and use your Q to slow them if you do end up getting that EQ combo off while you're ganking, it's it's so good because um, if you're getting, if you have like a TF on your team or say a LeBlanc, they follow up with some chain CC. It's almost 100% a kill. Now I'm not saying Lulu is top tier um, best jungler in the game right now. She's just something to play. Uh, like you know, if you're getting bored of the usual Elise pick, Vi pick. Kindred pick, Gragas pick. If you're bored of the meta picks, you know, Lulu Jungle is fun to play. She's really cool. You know, it's real fun to spam shields and just tank damage for days. But, um, like I said, 
in my opinion, she's not top tier. She's just fun to play. So if you're tired of all the uh, meta picks, try out Lulu Jungle. Let me know how you like it. Um, I also have, you know, real meta jungle guides. I have a Vi guide. I'll have that in the description or on. A, I have it as an annotation on the screen. I'll have a few links to other videos that I made. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a little bit rushed, but I just wanted to come out with a video soon so I wouldn't, you know, take your guys' subscription for nothing. I want to make you guys proud, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, and thank you for supporting me, everyone. I will see you guys next video.